Dear Diary, <laughs> the other children in kindergarten are having a hard time relating to me because I put green tomatillo sauce on my no, quiche. Tabasco sauce, not tomatillo. Tabasco sauce <laughs> spicy. on my quiche. Yes. The other boys. <laughs> the other boys. The other boys are the playing other in the boys, creek. The other boys in class. I don't know what quiche is? They're not sure what a quiche is. They said that's a funny looking pizza, Ryan. <laughs> Rex. Oh, she's got the cigarette out. That was a clip of us getting yet another glimpse into the culinary <laughs> world of Ryan Seacrest as a child. He's taking us back, that's right, back, way back, to his days of <laughs> trading school lunches. I can hear your voice deeper from the smoke. His now. days of trading school <laughs> lunches. Today, he teaches us how to make some of his childhood <laughs> staples. You know, like smoked oysters. <laughs> Very easy, they're ready to go. Uh, joining us via Skype are his friends Bryce and Mitch. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, gents. How are you? Doing, doing well, Kelly. How are you? We're doing great now. Listen, I, I don't want to, I don't want to bother with these recipes. I want to get to the bottom of it, okay? <laughs> you two well, first, seem, you two seem I... like truth tellers, okay? I don't want can you to, don't be alarmed. Don't be scared. Tell us, what was Ryan like as a child? The real story. <laughs> Bryce, you go first. Uh, I think the oysters tell it all. You know, uh, at uh, 16 years old, going camping with a can of smoked oysters and a toothpick sitting by the fire uh, pretty much sums it up. <laughs> yeah, well, you idiots brought hot dogs. You had to cook yours. Mine were already smoked. <laughs> Let me, let me just make a comment here, because I think you need to understand, Ryan, when you bring smoke, smoked oysters to a camping trip, you know you're going to attract every raccoon in a 10-mile 10, 10 radius. You know that, right? I'm sorry. I mean, they were I'm practically sorry. sleeping in our tent. Mitch, Ryan said that it was a bear and that he single-handedly fought the bear off as the two of you cowered in the shrubbery. Is that not correct? That, that's not uh, they, exactly the full story. Yeah. Well, we're so waiting. the full story was, I think it was uh, Slade Tucker fending off a, a raccoon coming after the smoked oysters with a, uh, with a torch. Well, listen, I, just to be fair, I, I ate the oysters, and then I dumped all the excess oil out in front of the tent, and that's what attracted the bear, raccoon, or squirrel, whatever it was. Now, that's I'm going to start with just one recipe here while you ask questions. First, let me yeah. tell you, this was the peanut butter and honey sandwich that was traded at a lunch, 11.35 in the morning. So the now, key to this. Would, would, would Mitch or Bryce get the peanut butter and honey sandwich? We'll let them answer. I'll tell you this. So, uh, Kelly, we Ryan has a weakness, and it's Swiss cake rolls. Okay, oh. I don't know if you remember those. Uh, they're like little chocolate eclair thing. That's it, right there. Yep. yep. Porter had the Swiss cake rolls always, and Ryan was a big uh, trader for the Swiss cake roll. Now, would you say that Ryan's lunch was bougier than everybody else's? <laughs> Uh, without a doubt, and, and, and let me just say, say this. So, so if you recall the Breakfast Club when Molly Ringwald br brought out her sushi with yes. the chopsticks, and that that was Seacrest. That so lunch. Ryan was Ryan was Molly Ringwald. Okay, <laughs> we have yeah. that. Mitch, we have that image Mitch, in our head. Who are you? Who were you in the Breakfast Club? Ooh. Uh, I, I was I was the nerd. I was the nerd. I'm gonna go with the nerd. Even though Bryce was definitely the nerd, I'm gonna just claim the nerd. And and Bryce, you were co-nerd or? I, 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 yeah, I definitely was co-nerd then. You know what's so <laughs> Bryce funny? Is a, Bryce You're, is a doctor. They're both very handsome. Yeah, they're very you, good looking. And you grew up handsome. Oh, thank you. It's, and the three of us are You are would handsome. think somebody would grow up like a little wonky, but nobody grew up wonky. <laughs> sure. I just wanna tell you, this is the recipe for the peanut butter and honey sandwich. First, it's three layers of bread. Honey goes onto the bread first, so it goes deep and soaks into the bread. Then you put a little peanut butter on top. Then you put one more layer of oh, honey yeah, on top. Honey. It's a lot of honey, but the key is that the honey soaks into the bread so that by the time you get to a lunch, it's almost crystallized. Then you put that together, and this is what would get you a trade for the Swiss roll. All right? All right. <laughs> Look at that. I, I to tell you, I don't even care about this food at all. I just want to talk to Mitch and Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to do more when we come back. Oh, yeah. We sure more are. interrogation when we come back. All right, back with more uh, school.
school lunch recipes. Kelly, before you get into the interrogation once again, I just want to show you, every day after school, Oprah would come on, and I would come home, and I would make a sheet of nachos. And the key to making the sheet of nachos is to make sure that they are spread out and not overlapping, so there's cheese on each and every one of them. And the other thing that I like to do, Kelly, was yeah. put them in the oven. I would crank it up to three something. I can't remember exactly. Put the details on everything. Toaster on oven or oven no, oven? No, the oven oven. And then right at the end, uh -huh. I'd hit the broil. So the cheese would bubble so that you would get nachos that were spread out and fully, fully cooked like this. See, that was, that's what I was going for, the bubbly cheese like that. And then, of course, Oprah would come on, and I'd eat the sheet while watching her talk about whatever she was talking about that day. Um, <coughs> Mitch, what were you doing when Ryan was watching Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, doing uh, probably what most other guys my age were doing. I was at the mall. I was uh, riding my bike. Who Playing knows? in the creek. Bryce. Playing in the creek. That's right. Bryce. Yeah, yeah. the, re the rest of us were on the athletic fields. Right? Ryan, maybe was watching Oprah. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I played football my entire life with you, Mitch. I, I, I didn't say that. That's the other bald guy that said it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was exhausted. He had a he had a flair for the dramatic, by the way, Kelly. I don't know if you know that about Ryan. You're kidding! <laughs> no. Yeah. No. There's no way. They just don't know Not me. Not this guy. <laughs> now, I understand that Ryan used to give people rides in his car. Where would he ride uh, them? Not just not really, the back seat. Not really. you, you, oh. you couldn't go in the back seat of his car because God forbid that the uh, the floor mats actually got dirty. I Very heard. little has changed, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I worked hard to get that Honda. Very little has changed. Uh -huh. um, very rarely did you get in a disagreement with Ryan, but if you got in the back seat of his car, that then he would get crossed. That, that's for sure. <laughs> and I tell you something, you have adorable friends. These are good guys. Yes. They're good guys. They are southern boys, good guys. Now Kelly listen, um, Bryce and Mitch. Stand by, because I know you want to write this down so you can make it at home later. This is Brian the is going to teach us how to make a quiche, right. l'orange, or whatever. Spinach quiche. So, and, oh, spinach and, quiche. And, and, and with the secret topping. So okay. it's very simple. It's very easy to make. We'll put all the details on the website. But I take a pie crust, right, just like that, whisk up some eggs. I took four eggs here, a little bit of flour inside that, then some half and half. So this makes sort of the the substance of the quiche. So when Bryce and Mitch were at football camp, you were quiche it up? I was sautéing spinach and onions. You sauté the spinach and onions. You put them down as the, the, the floor, if you will, So you put the, the quiche. spinach and onions first in you the pie. You sauté these in a pan, then you put them down into the crust first, OK? All right. Yeah. Then you take your mixture as it's whisked nicely, and you pour it over. So it fills in all around. You know what? That does seem rather easy. I'm not sure okay. if I believe. Now the cheese, you could put the cheese in throughout. I like to put it on top. Swiss cheese, already grated, so it melts nicely. Again, you'll want to bubble this cheese as well. So right at the end, you're going to hit the broil. Bryce and Bryce and Mitch like to use a Gruyere cheese. <laughs> Yeah, the they, told you... me, they told me because behind your back, we have a secret friend group that you're not in. <laughs> and the secret ingredient, the French's onion rings. After you bake it, you put these on top. The finished oh product God. looks like this. Let me show it to you. <laughs> then the onion rings on top. And I like the green Tabasco for a little bit of kick. And oh that's my God. your quiche. Dear diary. You know, for all of these classic Ryan recipes, <laughs> Coming to a cookbook near you, no doubt. Uh, please go to our website. And I just want to thank Bryce and Mitch for being amazing. Great, great guys. And if you ever want to tell me anything privately, you guys both have my phone number. Text me, email me, 24-7. I am here as your emergency support group. Thanks for you got it. being there's, on the show. There's a show. ton more stories, I promise. <laughs> Good to see you both, guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming Hi, on. Guys. Have a great day. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Endless fun.